What have we battled non Johto leaders already? I don't remember. I know we battled Falgner, Bugsy. I know we battled Whitney and Morty and Chuck and Jasmine and Claire. Why is this the only gym leader that's not Kanto? I mean Johto. What the heck? Should I get that sand up? That residual damage? Okay. Or he's just gonna put me to sleep. I only have one full here. Heal. Oh my gosh, can you stop? I don't think I have any <laughs> anything else. Damn it. Was he trying to dream eater me? He was. Okay. I mean, eventually I'm gonna wake up and get up this sand. And then we gonna heal. You're not gonna beat me with dream eater, bro. It's not happening. Oh, the crit! Damn. That is some serious damage. Alright, Espeon, we got this, mate. Especially if he's not going to uh, put me to sleep. Oh my gosh, he crit me. Okay. I was like, bro, we resist. Damn it. Oh, it actually ran out? What? There are not proper uh, weather... There's a lot of weird rules in this game. It like has the qualities of the newer games, like not permanent weather and stuff like that. Also, I don't really know how I'm, I'm going to go out in a bum dump, just put him to sleep. Yeah, we should be able to beat this man. No, don't be missing Razor Leaf. Alright, he gone. It's the only one that was a problem. Oh my gosh, he has Alkazam. I'm gonna go Spanky, just to heal Goldfinger real quick, because I want to be able to take those hits. And for now, let's try Gungum against Alakazam for now. Like, it'll most definitely beat us, but if we can weaken him... No! Ah, Yo, you almost had it, Gungum. Yeah, I was gonna say, if we can just weaken him for Goldfinger, just like before Goldfinger, how it was Shartan's battle, and you were contributing, this is your battle. The others will contribute to you, to your victory. Yeah. All right, who's that? What, what, what? This dude is not seriously about to drop a Mewtwo on me. You know, I don't know why I didn't see it coming after his second strongest was Alakazam. No one's stronger than Alakazam. Oh my gosh. This dude is at level 70. Of course he has waterfall. We got defenses though! I was hoping that would make a difference, but it didn't. I'm gonna freeze him. No, I'm not. I was like, if anyone's gonna live and be bulky, it's bum dumb. But then I was like, this is a Mewtwo. Oh my gosh. Okay. Nah, it's chill. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to train off of Lieutenant Surge. We're not going to worry about trying to beat him. We're just going to gain levels. 
grinding montage. Yeah, it doesn't affect this time. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, I'm so weak now. Alright, hold up. Should I heal though? I guess. I'll save some potions. I mean, I have money to buy potions later too anyway, so. I'm chilling. Oh my god, what? Why did Razor leave to zero? Oh, well we got a crit, so it doesn't matter. Alright, Goldfinger. I know you can beat this thing. Yeah. Level 49 crunch! Ooh! Should I get rid of Rock Throw? I'm gonna get rid of Sandstorm, actually. Screw all that noise. Now, okay, this doesn't change the fact that he has Waterfall, so... It really doesn't matter. Um, let's try Gum Gum. And Reflect. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That did so much. Yo, we have Crunch now, though. I think that means something. Also, we set up the Reflect. And it works for the rest of our team, too. Hold up, wait a minute. I might have discovered something. Okay, when he goes Mewtwo, I'm gonna go Alkazam, live a hit, get up Reflect, die, and go out into a full HP. A full HP Goldfinger. See what happens. Alright, how does that sound? And we got Crunch now! Why did that do nothing? Why does Iron Tail do more? I like how we wake up the first turn and it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. It's not worth it to keep healing you, bro. I'm wasting my potionases. Okay. Nah. I'm not playing this game. If we don't beat Hypno, then I'm not using all my potions on him. I'm just gonna take it as an opportunity to level the others. Oh my gosh, we just died. It's a war of psychic- oh, he crit me. Seismic Toss! Oh my gosh. Sleep Powder! Woo! Take him out! Damage. Okay, cool. Him putting me to sleep is really annoying. It's kind of like I have to heal against him. I'm going to try and use different Pokemon. Just against the Hypno. I'm going to try Bum Dumb, because I could put him to sleep. Yeah. How's it feel? Wow. We're really just both sitting here trying to put each other to sleep? Yeah, I like that a lot better. Alright, hold up. Why did Crunch do zero against that Hypno? Like, it's super effective. See, that was a crit. Iron Tail did more. Why? 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 Oh my gosh. He's setting up. Oh my gosh. Okay, and we missed. Um, Sheraton. I mean, we still have the seeds on him, so, you know. Okay, that doesn't matter. Spikes! Spanky! End it! Oh my gosh. Alright, Gungum can finish it off, though. What? Because that special went up. Alright, Goldfinger. Beat this out, because damn, no! Damn it. Alright, well, that's not working. Recover! It's all just a training process. Okay guys. So I've been trying grinding up against the gym leader and I did get some levels in a lot of random Pokemon but it didn't really matter. Um, I tried giving Gungam Shadow Ball. Uh, I actually lived a hit from Mewtwo and it did nothing. Shadow Ball did no damage. 
Um, and I realized that uh, Alakazam could live a hit from Mewtwo and get up Reflect, so then I could potentially go into Steelix, and I taught it Dragon Breath and Dig just because I was going through my TMs. Um, I, kind of, I taught it Dragon Breath, so I was like, I'm going to live a Waterfall with the Reflect up, which I did, and go for Dragon Breath and Paralyze it, and that didn't work. I mean, I didn't paralyze it, but I was like, you know, this probably won't work anyways. It could have worked, but I, I want to try something else before I try that. Um, Bump Dumb learned Synthesis, so that was cool. I actually shouldn't have got rid of Leech Seed, I realize now. Leech Seed, just the residual damage is so nice. Uh, Spanky has done nothing this gym. Um, Cloyster, I think, went up a level or two, but... Spikes were kind of cool, but also not helpful. Also, the Hypno is annoying. But! I decided, you know what? If I can't win through strength, I will try alternatives, okay? So, I'm actually, I'm gonna save the game real quick. Just in case I use all my potions doing this. But, I went out, I actually wanted to get a Murkrow, because then I could teach it fly, but I couldn't find a Murkrow. So, I went out and got this little thing, named her Yap, the Houndour. Basically the plan is to switch back and forth and try and get it to stall out all of its psychics. Uh, because, I won't say when this happened, but from an experience with the gold and silver Let's Play with Ace, I think that the trainers can run out of moves. So I'm gonna try, through switching, make them run out, make his Mewtwo run out of Psychic. And after that, see what he has and see if I can handle it. Um, so we're gonna try this out. Also, uh, one of the ways I've been doing, one of the things I've been doing is I could actually get completely swept by Hypno, uh, which is really annoying just because it puts everything to sleep. So, I've started leading with Gungam now to try and take it out with Shadow Ball. And basically what happens, if he puts me to sleep, I just keep spamming Recover until I wake up and try to recover off the damage after I wake up. But sometimes I just stay asleep for the entirety of him knocking me out until he knocks me out and it's really annoying. So we'll see if this is one of those times. And it was. So, exactly what I mean. Um, and it's really annoying. So, now I don't really have anything to beat this. Especially if he just puts my whole team to sleep. It... I don't know. Already just losing Gungum -Gun was not worth it. So, I'm just gonna kinda do this battle. This is not gonna count as one. I actually didn't mean to go into Bum Dumb, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, I'm just gonna get some experience right here and dip from this battle. What do you actually have for me? Really? This thing does not have a, si a move other than a psychic move. Okay, so it would seem that their normal Pokemon have normal moves but you you best believe I'm gonna give Yap some experience for being this Alakazam if I can I might just get stalled out of everything cause he just keeps going for a cover now I wanna see what happens here I legitimately do I'm just gonna keep going for Leer yeah he's out of recovers wow I wonder if actually none of his poke. Well, so Slowbro has Surf. I don't think Espeon can touch me. Or Slow King, my bad. Alright, so I'm just gonna let that kill me now. That was interesting, actually. Huh. Alright, so, anyways, I'm gonna do the same thing. Because um, Hypno does have Mega Punch, so it can hit. Um, it can hit Yap. But, like I said, I'm gonna try and do what I normally. Yeah, see? So there's times where 
I'm asleep literally the whole time until he kills me, and then there's other times where he can't even touch me with hypnosis. So, it's stupid. Um, but I actually want to see if Espeon can hit me. It might have like headbutt or tackle or something. It, just out of curiosity. Okay, it has swift. I wanted to see. I mean, now we're gonna die, but... I do have a revive. I guess I'll revive the app. Because Espeon can't beat, uh... Gungo. Alright, alright. Hey, you yeah, have got some levels. Um, hmm. I guess I'll try Gun Gum. If he sets up on me too much, though. Yeah. Then I die. But Bum Dum can take him out now, though. Okay. Alkazam. Go, yep. Kill him. You gotta get a burn on him, though, if you can. Otherwise, I don't know if this is gonna work. Come on, yep. You can do it. Burn him. Burn him! Burn him! Burn him! Can smog poison? Oh, okay. Well, that works then, too. Hey. I'm taking this experience. This is legit. I could honestly just use this to train Yap all the way up to everyone else. Might be new addition to the team. I'm sorry it was like an off-screen thing, but... You know. It's something to consider, for sure. I mean, you put it in work this early in the game. You gotta be considered for the team, am I right? Alright, so he's going out into Mewtwo now. Alright, let's try this. We're going bum dumb. See if he's psychics. Okay. So we're gonna go into Yap. Yeah. Alright, so that's one psychic. Now we're gonna assume he goes for Waterfall now. And we're gonna go bum dumb. So one psychic. That's what I want to keep track of. He should have 10. So 2 psych... Or this will be number 2. Yep. Okay. Waterfall. Number 3 psychic. Waterfall. Number 4 psychic. Waterfall. Number 5 psychic. I think I want to go like Spanky. I think I could live a waterfall. Yeah. Because I want to heal. So, number five psychic. That's what we're on. Number six. That was one right there. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Waterfall. Number 10, Psychic. Alright, I wanna go Sharten now. And heal. So that was 10. And now he's Swifted. And now he's Swifted! I mean, he went for water Waterfall there, but. So he does have Waterfall too. I wonder if I can stall him out of those. I think Waterfall is 15. Well, here he's got to go for, like, Swift or something. I'm, I'm just going to Sleep Powder. Yeah, if that's all he has to hit me... You cheeky son of a gun. Oh, and he has recover. I was gonna say, this dude stayed asleep for like 10 turns. Nah, we got him beat. We definitely got him beat. Recover, swift, psychic, waterfall. Not good enough. Later, friend! There we go. You know what? That's how you get on the team. If Yap doesn't deserve to be on the team after this, I don't know what does. It was like an epiphany. I was like, alright, clearly I'm not going to beat him through sheer force. So I'm going to use my wits. And we'll take him down. 
Ah, there we go. We got us a little yap. Granted, we can't fly with this. So I might switch it out to fly every so often. I need to get a flying Pokemon still. But, it's not, uh... It's not 100% necessary now. Alright. I, or, ever, is what I meant. It's not necessary to have fly. So... Granted, I'm sure I'll need, like, Waterfall at some point, too, but I think, I think we'll end it off there. That was pretty, uh, that felt good after all the times that I went and battled him. So now we have eight badges. I don't know, yeah, still doesn't show prices, but, I mean, we can surf to the Elite Four now, apparently. Also, we did get called from Professor Elm about the radio tower stuff so I guess I'll have to check that out too even though it's not making it necessary for me to have to go to there but you know whatever we'll see what happens